Okay, so I'm slowly finishing this in while I've got one hand over here feeding this cute little baby here. Lily, please stop. And there's a lot of other kids. But I was thinking I have had so many other little thoughts. I wanted to just make a video because then I don't have to type it all out. And I want you guys to hear. So, um, you can see how I scribbled out there on Friday. I was going to put cucumbers, but then I was like, oh, I'm having veggies for lunch. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to have berries and like a mixed nut mix. I really like to have cashews and peanuts and almonds all mixed together. I put celery and peanut butter there on the bottom. And then here at the top, I put my starting weight. I am not big on like using the scale as a victory or a failure. However, I think it is a good measure of like seeing if you've changed the metabolic rate in your body so that's why i put my starting weight right there and then also it helps me to gauge how much water i should be having every day so say i was 160 cut that in half it's 80 you want to shoot for half your body weight in ounces so if i put 80 ounces per day it's going to be my water goal and i like to track that the other thing that i do like to have on hand is semi-sweet dark chocolate chips that are milk free and you can find them at regular stores. The darker the chocolate, the less milk you'll have. Again, I shoot for a lot. I'm not like a 100% vegan, um, but I have learned that eating a lot less products from animals, which is all meat and dairy and stuff like that, is really been beneficial for my blood pressure, for my blood sugars. Um, and my overall health, my skin, my energy. And the more research that I do, I that that is actually really, really common for really healthy people <laughs> that are not like bodybuilding and stuff. Even bodybuilders can be vegan. They just have to be really careful. But eating a lot less animal foods is huge in metabolic energy. Um, so, something to keep in mind. I just wanted to share that with you. Okay, so then these other three slots, let's see if I can hold this while she's eating. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in with, um, I've got oatmeal and fruit here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some, I'm gonna probably, I'm having soup for dinner, Shakeology. I want something crunchy, I'm gonna do carrots. We always have baby carrots around. And I'll probably just have that with the Greek ranch. Um, and then my last few breakfasts. You can see I put a silk shake. I like to have um, almond milk with like frozen fruit and a nut butter or just maybe some of those semi-sweet dark chocolate chips blended up with ice. Um, I call them silk shakes because they're not milk. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one there too. And then occasionally I do like to just have like a bowl of cereal with again, almond milk. I don't drink regular dairy milk, hardly ever, 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 ever. Um, so I'm just gonna put cereal in there. And again, these can switch out. If I end up having Shakeology for breakfast, I'll have cereal for an afternoon snack, who cares, you know? And the healthiest cereals you can find are, um, Cheerios, Life, uh, Frosted Mini Wheats. Those might be the most healthy out there, honestly. Like, as far as fiber, as far as protein, as far as sugar. Those are, like, the only ones I will eat. Um, and my family likes them, too. But if you're a cereal fan, those are probably your top options. So, anyway, I finished my list. There it is. I'll take a picture and post it. And um, I will probably shop for this on Monday. So there you have it.